All right, we usually do videos for the best apps for Windows, best apps for Android, and sometimes best apps for iPhones. But today, something's gonna be a little bit different. Today, we're gonna talk about some of the best apps that all of us at Guiding Tech love to use on our MacBooks. An app to clean up your menu bar, an app to find and remember keyboard shortcuts, an app to replace Spotlight Search, and an amazing calendar app too. And all of these apps come without any ads and are absolutely free. So without wasting any time, this is Gorang. You're watching Guiding Tech. Let's get started. So first up, menu bar is extremely important on Mac. The fact is that many different apps just provide their little icons to get quick access menus right from the menu bar itself. And even though that is extremely useful, it also leads to the menu bar itself clogging up because of so many different icons. So I have an app that will help you sort that out. And the name of the app is Hidden Menu Bar. It simply hides all of the menu bar icons. All you see is a small arrow. As soon as you tap on the arrow, it will show all of the menu bar icons. And in case you have apps that you prefer to always have on the menu bar, that is possible too. Click on the arrow and hold the command button on the keyboard and click and drag any icon to the right side of the vertical divider. And now whenever you collapse the menu bar, the icons move to the right side of the divider will continue to stay in the menu bar. Clicking the divider takes you to preferences where you can set the time after which the menu bar will auto collapse. The app is simple, handy and completely free. Next up, keyboard shortcuts are endless and a lot. And the fact is that even though you use an app regularly, there can be times where you forget a particular shortcut. And I have an app that will not only help you remember these shortcuts, but also help you find new ones. And the name of the app is Cheat Sheet. Using the app is as simple as it gets. Whichever app is open in front of you, all you need to do is press and hold the command button for about two seconds. And then a window will show up listing out all of the shortcuts for the app that is currently open. The shortcuts will be divided into different columns based on the functionality each shortcut is related to. And again, the best part is that this app also comes without any ads and is completely free. Next up, let's try to improve the experience with taking screenshots. And the app to improve that experience is shorter. It will basically improve every way that you take a screenshot on your Mac. First of all, the apps works through the same shortcuts to click to screenshots. After taking the screenshot, a small window shows up with the screenshot you just took and under it, you see options to edit it, copy it, save it, or recognize the text inside the screenshot. The keyboard shortcuts for every option are easy to remember. The app also allows you to take a scrolling screenshot in cases where you want the shot of the entire web page or document. If you take the screenshot of a particular app window, you can choose to show either the wallpaper or keep the background transparent, a solid color, or just trim out everything behind the app window. It is also extremely easy to change the default folder where the screenshots are saved. Next up, Spotlight Search on Mac is pretty great. It is fast and it gets the exact results that you want. But that does not mean that it can't be holistically upgraded. And that's exactly what Raycast does. Raycast is very much like Spotlight. It gets triggered by a similar keyboard shortcut of your choosing, but rather than searching for apps and files, it can execute commands as well. You can access clipboard history, search for my schedule to get your calendar for the day, make a Google search, translate something through Google Translate, create a Notion database, open a specific playlist on Spotify, and so much more. Plus, you can also go to the Raycast store and enable more and more app-specific commands as well. Moving along, Lightroom is something we all know about. It's an extremely capable app to edit your photos and mess with the lighting and colors on your photos, but at the same time, it is also pretty expensive. And if your usage is basic, it doesn't really make sense to pay for it. And that's exactly where this next app comes in. It is a completely free replacement for Lightroom and it is also just as capable. And the name of the app is funnily enough, Darkroom. Darkroom offers all of the basic editing tools that Lightroom does. Whether it is controlling the light, the exposure, adding grain, vignette, controlling the tint, saturation, messing with the colors in the shadows and highlights, everything is present and works great. Plus you also get access to some very interesting presets as well. Still, if you want curves, color wheels, or more of the pro features, you will need to pay for the app. But for most people, the free version is more than enough. Next up, something about me. I do not like the current calendar apps that we usually get. They are 
not that simple to use and the shortcuts also are either non-existent or just not that simple to find. And if that is a concern that you also share, well, this next app is gonna sort out all of your concerns. And the name of the app is Cron. Cron is an extremely fast and simple, good looking calendar app. It makes adding events, the most basic thing in a calendar, as easy as pressing a single button, which is C on your keyboard. Want to go to a particular date? Just press the full stop button. Want to add a quick meeting with someone? Press F. If you want to know more about the commands within the app, just press Command and K and you will get access to all of the different commands executable right from your keyboard. Changing the view of the calendar from week to month to day is just as simple. The only caveat of the app is that you can only download it once you get a link based on an invite. And getting that requires you to log into a certain site, get your name on the waitlist. And about five to 10 days later, you get a link to register yourself and then you can start using the calendar. But at the end of the day, those five to 10 days will be worth it because the app is just that great. And lastly, of course, it's us. We will always have your back when it comes to suggesting a great wallpaper app, no matter which device we are actually suggesting the apps for. And in this case, the name of the app is Unsplash. While the wallpapers on offer here are extremely beautiful and high res, what makes this app even better is just how easily accessible it is. Installing the app adds a menu bar icon. Clicking on it shows the current wallpaper you have on. Tapping on the refresh button shows another wallpaper and you can set it as your wallpaper right from that menu. The app can automatically change the wallpaper for you every day. You can also select a theme from the menu bar and every wallpaper that shows up will be from that theme. Plus, if you want to see the history of wallpapers that you've put up from the app, that is possible too. And well, that's pretty much it. These are all of the apps that we love to use on our MacBooks and I hope you do too. The download links to all of these apps, including the invite link for Cron is available in the description box. So if you found the app that you were looking for, like, and maybe consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.